So welcome back everyone to another episode of Rick's Gadgets. This will be another quick video, but I wanted to kind of do a long-term review on these uh, the Intermat CA3500 uh, Z-Wave receptacle. Um, these are some receptacles. I've had about five of them installed now for at least four or five years. And I will be interested to see if anybody else has any um, comments or concerns with these switches after a few years because um, I kind of want to explain some issues that I've been having. So recently, as you know, my last video was a putting a new wall switch in for uh, Z-Wave light switch and of course having to kill the power to do everything right. Uh, I flipped a few breakers in the house to find the right one and that also turned off some of these wall switch or receptacle outlets. And what happened is when the power came back on, I noticed that three of probably the five that I have in the house were blinking red and would not connect to HomeSeer. I uh, tried rescanning, you know, I would go into the HomeSeer Z-Wave, um, you know, controller management and try to rescan, you know, nothing worked. Um, and basically what I had to wind up doing on them was removing them and then re-adding them. And as you know, that can be a pain because now if you've got events or other triggers tied to that, uh, the address is different because you're now setting up a new device. Had to go back through and just rework everything in the, uh, the settings. So anyway, so long story short, like I said, a few of them went offline. I had one that would not repair. I tried deleting, tried adding, um, just a red light constantly and started reading online about can you do a reset um, and started seeing that a lot of people have had issues getting these to pair and saying they were ditching them and going over to the GE Z-Wave. So I couldn't get it to work so I wound up buying this new GE Z-Wave outlet and so got it installed. I didn't do a video on it because there's I mean these are very simple to install. I literally just hooked up the three wires, went into include mode, pressed that nice big button, and bam, it was installed. And a lot easier to do. And I will tell you one of the drawbacks on this is that little recessed area there. Yeah, you have to have a pin or something pointy to stick in there because you just can't push it with your finger. So it does make it nicer on the other one to have that. Um, even for turning the light off and on, or like if you have a lamp plugged in, um, if your Z waves down or something and you want to turn it on, yet pushing that little button was hard. Whereas on this GE, I feel like it's going to be a lot bigger. But uh, but anyway, I would like to you know if you have any um, had any issues with these types of switches, let me know because they'd be interested to see what others have done and what your fallback is. Um, because I've got five, like I said, I had to replace one, so now I'm down to four. And I'm wondering if I need to go ahead and start looking at switching these because they are a little bit cheaper and possibly getting rid of those other ones because if I lose power, um, which we do occasionally, I don't want to have to go back in and reset these up um, because it does begin to be a pain having to come in here and add, re-add, and then going back over to the, um, the sensors and your events and trying to tie everything back together um, because it... Uh, you do rely on these quite a bit, um, but you know here was the when it installed, it went very simple. Uh, push of the button, added one device, and as you can see, it added here, no issues, and it's been working great because uh, I'm using these for my Christmas Christmas lights, and uh, that way I just have one button, push them off, they'll come on, I'll go off, and it makes things a lot easier, especially to have them in the wall. But anyway, uh, I just wanted to do this quick video here, just kind of a, a long-term review of these these receptacles and get any comments from you guys if, if anybody else is having the same issue. because uh, Or do you know a workaround that would fix this? Uh, that would be nice to know as well. But anyway, well, I appreciate you stopping by and checking out this quick video. Don't forget to hit the like button and hit the subscribe if you haven't already done so and i look forward to seeing you come back and check out some future videos thanks and have a great day